Well, here we go. As I just turned to Tia Fima, I said, finally, finally, after months, it feels like years of waiting, we are ready to go on Saturday night here at Madison Square Garden, live on DAZN all around the world. Of course, the WBO, the WBA, the WBC franchise, the Ring Magazine, the IBF, all of these belts on the line on Saturday night for a tremendous fight that we've waited so, so long for. Delighted to be welcomed by the champion up here, his father, the trainer as well, Tiafimo Senior, George Cambosis and Javier, welcome as well. Um, George, I'm going to start with you. This has been an unbelievable process, an unbelievable journey back, forwards. We hoped, we prayed we would get this fight. We've got it. You're just a couple of days away now for your chance at history, your chance at legacy, and doesn't get any bigger than this. Yeah, look, it has been a very uh, long road, but I've stayed very focused. Kept my tunnel vision unbelievable. And I feel I'm unbreakable right now. You know, it's an absolute pleasure to have this fight on your promotion and the zone. So um, we are ready. We're ready for war. We have been ready for a long time. I've been ready since June. You know I mean, I was there. I've been patient. I've been there every single day, ready to fight. He hasn't. Obviously, we saw yesterday some fun and games. You seem to remain calm. Uh, here right now. I've seen you being outspoken previously and on social media as well, but enjoying the moment, enjoying the intensity of this fight. Obviously, there's, I don't know whether I want to call it bad blood, but a lot of words exchanged previously, but you saw that yesterday as well, but trying to remove yourself from that, or you you soaking it all up as well? Well, look, I'm dressed here for business, and this ain't personal for me. It's personal for him, for whatever delusional reason he has, but I'm here for business. That's why I'm dressed like this. I feel great. I'm cool, calm, collected. I'm ready for a war. I'm ready to take everything he's got in New York City. He said numerous times that he believes he ends this fight in the first round. And, and you know, the conversations that I've had with him kind of believe that he believes that as well. I mean, talk about delusion. Do you see that as a delusion as well? He's dangerous. You know, you saw it in the Comey fight uh, previously. Uh, many knockouts on that record as well. This is going to be a firefight as well, though, at the same time. You're going to have to dig deep deeper than you've ever dug before in this fight to come out on top. But also, another question is, do you feel that potentially he's overlooking you, talking about a lot of these other fights, whether it's Devin, whether it's Tank, all these other guys as well? You seem to be fired up for this. Do you believe deep down he wants this as bad as you do? No, he, he does not want this as bad as I, I want it. I mean, so whatever uh, prediction he's making, no problem. One round, no problem. But we are fully focused and we are ready for 12 rounds. That is a testament to the fight I am and a testament to the hard work that I have put in. So uh, let's see what he does after that first round when it ain't over. And I'm still standing there because when he has been in the bright lights and enjoying his time and having fun and lapping it up, no problem. You're the big celebrity. You're in the bright lights. I've been in the dark, in the trenches, in the gym, the hard work, the blood, sweat and tears. I'm hungry. He says he's hungry. He's lying. I am hungry. So uh, we are ready. We're ready for war. And I'm excited. I'm so happy that uh, it's on. Back with you shortly, George, and Javier as well. And before I go to TFM, I see you. Champ, um, you, you seem to be honest when you say you believe one round. I mean, I know anything can happen in boxing, but you, you still believe you finished this fight early on Saturday. It's been a long, long time coming. We kind of want some value for our money and some rounds as well. But you come into this with bad intentions against George Cambosis on Saturday. No, first and foremost, I want to thank everybody for coming out here. And I want to thank God first and foremost, man. I, we wouldn't be here without him. Uh, thank you to Matchroom Boxing, thank you Eddie Hearn, and thank you to Zone. Um, I'm very appreciative of everything. I'll say it like this, yeah, of course, man. No one believed me when we said we were going to beat Lomachenko, and I guess nobody wants to believe me now. So it's all about reminding everybody it's a takeover, you know. Um, he's a businessman. He's a businessman. It's cool with me. What Mike Tyson once said, man, I'm a killer. These guys are businessmen. It's a difference. So the thing is, you got to have that mentality, why we have the greats. We out here to kill. We ain't here to beat business. Uh, only business there is out here, but when we in that ring, there ain't no business there. So just like you were ready to kill, I let you talk. Shut the fuck up. Just like you were ready to kill, anyway, So I say it like this. I say it like this. Sit down, be humble. I'm gonna be like you this. Be right? Shut the fuck up. And look, man, I am who I am. This is your champion. And I'm the champion. This is your champion. I am the champion. I'm the people's champion. You're, You're gonna ready? lose no. them all on so Saturday. So at the end of the day, all look, gone. I stay focused on what I gotta do. These are earned. Was never given to me. And for someone that has been bullied since a little kid for being a fat kid, you, you an asshole for being the way you are, bro. Be real with you, man. Um, you don't got to be the way you are. You haven't even made it to anything yet, and you acting like your shit don't stink. Well, and you, I'm going to say it like heart. this, though. I talk I'm from the heart. Like this. I look forward to 
November 27th. I look forward to putting on the shows for everybody. And I look forward to just coming back, man, coming back on on top again, man. I, I've, been, I've been over here just observing everything, seeing what everybody's been talking about, what they feel about me, what they wanna, want what they wanna see about me. So it's like, all right, cool, I got this. I got this because it's me, the takeover. At the end of the day, we could say a lot. His coach, my coach, we could do whatever we want. But at the end of the day, when that bell rings, it's just me and George Cambosis Jr. And at the end of the day, man, this is MSG. This is, <laughs> this is my fights, home. Six fights, six knockouts. And I'm looking forward to just putting on a show for everybody. So I thank everybody. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone. And um, God bless you all, man. Stay focused on y'all. And I look forward to retaining and defending all my, my unified, undisputed titles. Uh, we'll come back to you in a bit, too, as well, before I speak to you. But one question I have, you talk about the hunger for this fight. He talks about his hunger. He doesn't believe you're as hungry in this fight. You beat Vasily Lomachenko, you know, talks of Haney and Tank and all these people. How hungry are you right now to defend this? Do you think you are as hungry as this man on my left? He could be hungry, but there's a difference between hungry and starving. I'm starving, you know? I'm starving, man. My stomach over here flat and shit. Yeah, I can you know? say that. Thanksgiving's tomorrow. I can't even eat that, you know what I'm saying? So it's like he could be hungry all he want. But I go out there and I'm starving, man. People have been, I'm in a cage that they put me in and they were poking sticks at me, you know what I'm saying? I'm a lion that goes in there and I'm just ready to tear this guy up. I just want to let him know, man. I let everybody realize and know. You don't, you don't, you don't, this didn't come overnight and we didn't change overnight. We are who we are. We keep it real to the thorough, you know what I'm saying? We do what we do to let everybody know this is the takeover. I'm my own boss. You got to sit down and take it from somebody else. I don't because I work my ass off to get to where I'm at. And I'm continue staying that way because I walk with faith, not by sight. God is my protector. God is the one that's going to bring me to this victory come Saturday night. Javier, welcome. Uh, a massive fight for you, a massive fight for George as well. A tremendous fight as well between Absolutely. two brilliant lightweights as well but your man seems confident it's a it's a big step up for him it's a huge step onto the big stage as well but ready for the ultimate moment on saturday night absolutely you know this is a long time coming you know as you mentioned george you know doesn't lack confidence at all you know he's trained hard um even after the postponement i mean the day he found out the fight was postponed, he was right back in the gym on a treadmill you know so you know is that testament to you know his work ethic you know that gets him prepared for the bright lights and a big show like this. And again, we appreciate you know you having this on on Matchroom and on the zone. Um, but George 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 has done the work. He's put in the time, and he's worked his way up for this opportunity. It wasn't just given to him. How do you feel that you know those those breaks in preparation have, have affected George? He's had to stay tremendously focused over the period. This has been a crazy sequence of events, from postponements to you know. Uh, <laughs> Promises well, that didn't materialize. It must have been frustrating. It was in a way, but, you know, George is the type, you know, he stays focused all the time. You know, he's, he's one that, that lives in the gym, basically. So, um, you know, he had to go back to Australia, but we had a great coach in Australia that, you know, that was able to work with him as well. Um, came back down for the rest of the camp, and, and, you know, we did our work to get ready. Tiafimo Senior, welcome. I'm disappointed I missed the action yesterday in the gym, but... You've been outspoken, you, you believe in your fighter, you believe in your son, and you believe that he performs in style to retain his belts on Saturday night. We've been here before, you know, that's the thing that people don't understand. Uh, you know, these guys overwork their asses because they know they're going to fight somebody dangerous in my son. And that's the big mistake they make. I don't overtrain my son. I leave that in the ring, you know. When he goes in the ring and he does this devastating knockout that I know is going to win knockout of the year, and I'm saying it here, and I'm never wrong, you know. So, Nostradamus. Nostradamus, you know. So, um, come, you know, come November 27, this boy's going to be running, you know. That's the only thing that's going to save him for the first round, you know, because he's going to go right after him, just like Mason Menard. Same thing, you know, which is crazy because it was like uh, Oklahoma was uh, uh, playing that day, right, when you knocked out Mason Menard. You know, so... We're here to put up a show. You know, we're not going to let down Madison Square Garden. We never have, and we never will. We're here to stay forever. You know, nobody could beat my son. Our style is untouchable, you know. So um, I'm not even, man, he, this is his moment. You know, he's never scared. He goes in there to have a good time. I mean, this is what he lives for, you know. And when you go in with that confidence, ain't nobody in the planet could take you. And, and, and we don't have to worry about going up and wait. You know, because we're carrying that punch. 
You know, the other people have to. You know, we already showed it at 135. I think it's time for us to move up to see what happens, you know, but we're here to stay. Obviously, we saw yesterday, you know, we know you're outspoken, but what was that? Was that frustration? Was that a show? Was that listen, just... I, I, listen, I just walked, you know, the man over there came and grabbed me, so... Like a little chihuahua. You little chihuahua. You're a little chihuahua. So I had to do my thing, line. you know what I'm saying? But um, at the end of the day, you know, these people are going to be forgotten. Little chihuahua. You're going to be forgotten. You're going to be forgotten, bro. Ooh, little chihuahua. One day wonder. One day wonder. You're a baby. very, very lucky Somebody man. Nobody gonna know your you're name after this fight. Man. Hey, you're a clown. You're the, you you're the I'm world clown, clown, bro. The world Listen, is I'm laughing not at talk you. No more, bro. You are, I'm not you are a talk clown. No more. I can't wait for Saturday. Man. Oh, I can't wait. I've been waiting a long wait. time since it's June 19th. Crazy. Since June Listen, 19th, man, I've been I waiting. I know what my son is gonna do to you, man. Okay, well, I see it every day at the in the gym. I see it every day in the gym. And you don't see what we do in the gym, but you do see. You do say th certain well, things you're gonna tap you will say. I'll say it like this. <clears throat> you gonna tap him to death? I'll say it like this, man. You got this no is, pop, bro. <clears throat> yeah, you this is gonna tap him to death? You'll find out the I'll hell. say it like this. This is his biggest fight We'll fight you today. with one hand. This is his biggest fight Yeah, today. like Lomachenko had one arm. That's right. <laughs> but I do what I do. Let's get out of here. What do you think Lomachenko was man, running? Listen, man. One hand. This, one hand. This, you will not gonna be that man. Why you fought that man straight after this? I told you. It ain't no point, bro. Oh, man. These are One suckers. Man. These are fucking cockroaches. Nah, you know you're the saying? cockroach because you got rid of your whole team. We you know what? On them, you like know what got saying? rid of Joey Gamache, but they also got rid of the at nutritionists. The end of the day, They're getting rid of everybody. It. We keep it the way yeah, we do. I'll say them. it like this. We keep it the way we do. Everybody, tune in Saturday night. I ain't playing no games here, man. We're going to humble here. these guys, And I'm going to say it like this. Nah, nah, and when I humble this school, when I humble this school, Say like this, we'll see this you get humble. Great you'll be humble. Everybody Lucky tune in, man. Hey, it's going to be the Lucky week for Thanksgiving weekend. Laughing at you. Everybody's going to have a great laughing time. Laughing at you. They can talk They're all laughing shit. You're going to suck my dick up. Uh, for everybody, man, Listen. just enjoy nah, the bro, fight. I don't got the way, man. These right here. These right here. They stand. This right here. Lap them up. Lap them up. Enjoy them for now. Enjoy them for now. Thank you guys again for all that y'all have done for us. November yes, 27th, yes. Saturday night. Because I didn't want it to get in trouble, brother. Honestly, That's why I said that. I didn't want it to get suspended because you guys You're a very lucky man. You're a very fight. lucky man. You're looking to get out of this fight, man. Oh, very lucky. And looking. I ain't going to let that happen. We have been here every single day. Let, let every your day boy we have and my been boy here. go in there and settle it. Hey, and you know what? That's exactly what's going on. And what did you do? You crossed the line at the meeting. What line, bro? I wasn't even thinking about no line. What the hell are you talking about, bro? Did everyone see the video? Last time I heard, bro, this is a free country. I can walk wherever the fuck I want to walk. Get the hell out of here, bro. You guys want to get out of the fight. Yeah, that's why we're here. I saw T.A.'s face on social media last night where it's gone wild, and he was looking and listening to his own man. Embarrassed. What a dickhead. Embarrassed. I feel bad for you, man. You were embarrassed of your dad. You were embarrassed of your dad. You should thank me that happened. Hold on, You should thank me that happened. Hey, I'll tell you like this, man. I don't know about your boy, but I stand for my father. I think everybody know that. So, hey, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Chill, bro. Chill. Because when I put your boy down, don't let it happen, bro. Nah, sit down. Nah, nah, it's cool. It's cool, man. This is my show. Remember that. This is my show. It's my show. We're taking over. It's game over. We're taking over. With all respect, too. You know what I'm saying? But this is our show. We the takeover. Is this is the zone takeover? This is match room takeover. Oh, he's this gonna, is MSG. He's gonna take his down and go back this to right and this fight, Eddie. It's mine for the he ain't no seller. He ain't no seller. Damn, gonna be a beating. He ain't no seller. And yo, y'all ain't ready for any of this, I man. I work my ass off, bro. I work my ass I off. Oh, yeah, dear, bro. I work my ass off. Oh, yeah, I ain't going to tell my boy. I'm just telling you straight up, bro. My eyes don't Even fucking lie. See, my I eyes don't ever fucking lie. I'm trying to get I'll away. I'll rip your head off. Oh, I'll rip your head off, I'll boy. Like this, oh, look at you. You skinny looking lie, thing. Bro. Yeah, in that 135. Hey, like this, You're looking fragile. Fragile. Oh, there's a mob. There's a mob. I can't wait to all my belts. All of them, my belts. All my belts. Everyone left ya. Your whole team left ya. Everyone left you. You know why? Because you changed. Since these belts are cursed, these belts, I'm Response. Yeah, I'm these belts, dumbass this, these belts are your curse. These are your curse. They're he your curse. It, because bro. look at the people respond. around you. Look at the people wrong. around you. Hey, all gone, all this gone. Right you know what, man? Congrats, yeah, just, congrats yeah, on the new one. And be this Saturday night. If anybody is betting for Cambosis to beat me, it's because y'all don't want to see me fight the likes of Tank, Haney, Garcia, J Taylor. All these guys. Loma again, if you He's want. He's fighting all of them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure you are. I'm gonna stay focused on what's at task today. 
I'm going to stay focused on you. We're the only ones doing it, yeah. baby. And yeah. after Nakatani, I come, I'm going to after I'm coming, Lomo. Nakatani, Yo, we're lucky you got the you? decision against Get Nakatani. The very lucky. After this fight, very lucky hey, against that decision. Fight, I don't want to have no yeah. handshake. No, they're in the handshake. Come up to me they're in the handshake. Tell me, hey, man, yeah. no, we're going to home for a rematch. Same way we humble Lomo. Same way we humble Lomo. They're in the handshake. They're in the handshake. They're loyal to you. They're loyal to you. You ain't going to shake your hand because you're going to be in the hospital, bro. They're loyal to you. Hey, no, it's true. We're going to put your ass in a fucking stretch. But be prepared to land at yourself. Be prepared you to land your, yourself. You just yeah. fucked up yourself. Oh, yeah, sure. I'm telling you. are going to have a heart attack. You're when you have wake a heart up attack. on Look Sunday, bro, when you wake up on Sunday from the hospital, bro, you're going to fucking regret what you're just doing right and now. And you know what? You're going to be in the hospital too because you're going to have a heart life. attack when your son gets put I to fear sleep. For your life. You're going to have a heart attack. No joke. You're going to have a cry. This is a but fucking a lion right That's here. That's all right. A lion. I'm a fucking gorilla. I'm coming for war. Yeah. I'm coming for war. Stop. Last time I checked, isn't Tank the gorilla? Right? Hmm? Tank? I'm the fucking lion. I ain't bothered about Tank. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, coming yeah, for all right? the belts, boy. Fuck out of here, man. I'm coming for all the belts. Always, we'll hey, you just make the white and the be there. You just make the white and be there. You idiot. Yeah, yeah. Sure, I will. Squash ya. Just like my father squashed ya yesterday, boy. Okay, yeah, right. Chihuahua. Right. Right. right, where's the video at? Where's the video at? Where's you haven't the seen the video? At? You haven't seen the video? Where's the video at? The whole world's talking about it. Oh, my God. fucking shirt. Man. Idiot, I did the same shit to him. Really? I did the same shit to did him. Did you see that? He got see nothing that? to fucking grab me because I was about to see that? Up his fucking ass. He's delusional as Yeah, son. whatever the delusional, fuck, Delusional, man. It's the, I felt yeah. bad for you, bro. I was pushing you back. Hey, I say it like this, though. Shit. We so delusional. We made it to the pound for pound list. We so delusional. And you'll I'm be the falling only one holding this, this fucking weekend. belt. We so delusional that I own this king shit, all right? So delusional. So and, you, and you'll be falling off this way. Don't even waste your fucking. Don't even waste your fucking. I haven't moved, boy. They're not worth it, bro. Haven't fallen in a while, but I just want to say something. They're not worth it, bro. Let it go. Everybody is worth it because they're trying to take what we earned. You know what I'm saying? So we are here to day, take it. Course, we are right, going to we, take it. We can it. do this back and forth shit, but at the end of the day, man, I think everybody knows who's gonna win. It's just me and you in that ring. Me and you in that ring. And I can't wait. I've been waiting a long time. Long time. Finally, guys, just before we have a... Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. Final predictions for Saturday night. Victory by any means. I'm taking all them belts back home to Australia. Victory by any means. You ain't I have prepared. Nothing. I have prepared like a man shit. possessed. While he's been in the bright lights, enjoying himself, smoking his little hookah, you know, enjoying him with the drinks and the partying. <laughs> Loving the bright lights. Going to every fight event like a groupie. I've been in the trenches. We are coming for war. Victory by any means. See ya. Hey, after hey, after after Saturday night, you know, let's go go to a hookah bar. Let's go smoke some hookah. Yeah, for sure, right? For sure, because I've been taking this fight so lightly. Fuck out of here. Hey, at the end of the day, man, thank you guys for everything. Uh, I look forward to putting on a show as long as I choose to do it. You know, as long as I want to, depending tune in on the fighter. Early, baby. Tune and tune in. in, man. Don't don't miss it. You know, check on the undercards. We have a lot of great talent on the undercards, man. And then the co-main event. And then we got the main event, which is right here, Teofimo Lopez, the takeover. For everybody, man, thank you again. They ain't here forever, baby. Definitely a knockout, what I'm looking forward to. But at the end of the day, I stay focused on what's at task, and that's just getting the job done. I put a lot of work into this. I've been working on perfecting my craft. I went from orthodox to southpaw. I went from southpaw to orthodox. I mean, everything is going the way it needs to. I've only gotten better. Every competition, every time I fight the best fighters, I become great. Because that's what it's about, change. I'll give kudos to Cambosis for fighting his way to become my mandatory. Other than that, I don't respect you and fuck you. No Thank problem. You. I ain't looking for your respect. God, I weren't in the ring. I'll take your bill.
Teofimo Lopez and George Cambosis. They've been circling. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.